Ligia Ricciardi at the Digital Health Live Summit at CES 2019. I'm here speaking with Chris Van Hoff, who's the Senior Director of Connected Health Solutions at IMEC, IMEC. And uh, we are talking about ingestibles. What's an ingestible, Chris? Well, think of it just like a pill that you swallow, but instead of just being a passive device, it senses as it travels through your esophagus, through the stomach, through the small and the large intestine, and it captures information that until now was never possible to capture. Like what kinds of information? Well, you can, you can capture both the mechanical activity, the motions, the chemical activity, enzymes, acids, and so on, and even electrical impulses that are happening inside stomach and inside the small intestine. So when an individual takes an ingestible, about how long does that stay in the body? How long are they able to measure yeah, that, these signals? That, that will vary from person to person, but overall it will be between 8 and 48 hours of transit, which also means the battery has to last that long, or we will power the device from the outside, just like you do today, wireless charging of a smartphone, we think about wireless powering of these devices to make it more convenient. And how widespread is the use of ingestibles today? Today, these devices are only used uh, camera-based. So there are pill cams that take images. Now about 40% of the gastrointestinal disorders don't show any structural abnormalities. So a camera picture will not reveal anything. And for those, you need to dive deeper and you need to do chemical analysis mechanical or electrical analysis. And so ingestibles are able to take up some of those components. A absolutely. So um, I know, you know, I actually had the pleasure of interviewing you last year and you were focused more on wearables. Why the switch? Well, we've seen that cardiovascular system, neurological system, uh, muscular system, even the skeletal system, you can analyze dysfunctions from the outside. The gastrointestinal system, there's not a whole lot you can capture from the outside. And it is so important in terms of our health. They say you are what you eat. Hmm. Even our mental health is affected by what we eat and by the gut microbiome. So as a consequence, learning a lot more and particularly learning in real time of what's happening is so important. And for that reason, we need to dig in and eat the sensor. Excellent. So what kinds of populations do you think are most likely to begin to benefit first from using these kinds of technologies? Well, people like me, like you, pretty much everybody, 20% of people. People who eat? People who People, people who, who ingest things? Absolutely. People who have health challenges of all sorts? Yes. Excellent. Um, any final thoughts? Well, I think maybe next CES or two CES from now, we will indeed be seeing the same revolution that we've seen for wearables breaking through. We will see that for ingestibles just as well. And it will not just be about the hardware. Similarly to wearables, it will be a combination of the new hardware combined with the analytics to have diagnostic capabilities. Excellent. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you. This is Ligia Ricciardi with Carium here at the Digital Health Live Studio, which is sponsored by Living in Digital Times.